All right, here we are, everybody. HLJ.com. How many TV is bringing you an unboxing of the newest RG, the Double O Quanta, you know, Quan Bracket T Bracket. Okay, now this uh, is a long time coming when they showed the RG XEF first. Everybody was excited because now they're doing Double O Gundam, and then they showed the Double O Riser, and we got to build that, and it's amazing. But now here is what some people, I'm sure, think as the best suit from the Gundam Double O, the Quanta. So. Um, we're going to open this up here. You can see it's got the standard RG box art. And uh, I went ahead and took everything out of the plastic to save a lot of this crinkling noise here that we always just have to listen to when we're opening things. So let me move stuff out of the shot here, this whole box. Look at all this good stuff. Let me move it out of the shot. I'll bring these in one at a time. So we'll start off with uh, the A runner. <clears throat> and as you can see, we do have some of the uh, GN parts here. I guess for the, the, the weapons or the backpack, you know, that asymmetrical backpack it has. We're getting a lot of the blue armor, and we're getting the yellow parts on this runner, which is not uncommon. And then we're getting what, what I call the singles on the white armor here. So this is going to be a skirt. You know, you're only going to have one of these, right? It's because it's the center, head parts, feet parts, and uh, that's backpack parts there. Um, I'll bring this, this back in the shop in a second because I also want to show... Uh, contrast. So first off, here is the B-Runner. It's the Advanced MS Joint 7. I believe this is the same one that came with the Exia and the same one that came with the uh, Double O. You can see that whereas they uh, used to have the legs on the RG molded all as one piece, they've actually gone ahead and molded an upper leg and a lower leg, which you are going to put together by frame parts. Here comes the C-Runner. Now here it's looking like uh, GN Drive parts here. This looks like it's going to be for the skirts. We do get our clear parts on the C-Runner as well. This looks to be a stand, actually, so we'll be able to mount that giant sword he has. All the red parts are on the C-Runner, as well as some of the duplicate white parts that may be slightly different colors than these white parts. Maybe there's some contrast. Or contrast to the next ones I'll show, which are the, the other white parts. Now, these are the symmetrical parts, so we are getting a runner each for, you know, we got two arms to build, two legs to build, side skirts, those kind of things. This is, you know, kind of how they do things now. Here is the two blue runners, again, for our symmetrical parts. So feet, knees, and uh, you can see that. Here we go. The, there is that, that color separation there between the blues. So Bandai has gone ahead and kept that, that theme. You know, that's something that was first introduced in the RG line way back when. Now we get into frame runners. Two of the E's, like that, there's a lot of, a lot of frame parts on there. Again, this, this is going to be for, you know, arms and legs. Anything you have two of, you can see you've got matching runners here. But they also give you this frame runner as well. And uh, I'll turn it over so it sits easier because we got some interesting little parts here, which might be for the backpack, shields, neck, and so on and so forth. This is kind of the, a unique looking runner. It's definitely, you know, Quanta. It's definitely not like the, the Exian stuff. Some of these parts look very, very different from what we've seen before. And uh, I'm going to bring these on because you're getting two of these as well. All these little, you know, GN sword, GN shield parts in here. You're getting the little things for the, the joints, the elbows and the knees, those circles. And then these longer parts for the sword, backpack, and so on. And I will bring out the manual. And let me make some space here. Here's the manual. It's pretty standard stuff, wouldn't you say? Um, and what I want to show you, other than a spelling error, here's the, here's the GN Sword 4. You're going to be able to kind of put this together, play around with him. He may require an action base for some of those crazy poses they got him on, though. Um, here's the GN Sword set, and oh, there's GN Shield, but it's spelled wrong. Ah, oh, when will you learn to get your English correct? It shows you how to assemble the, the little base for the weapon. And then, of course, you have the marking guide in the back, and that is... You know, just like other RGs, quite extensive. And I'm going to show you the markings right here. There they are. That is the markings for the RG Quanta. Very, very shiny in this corner here. We recognize all these from building the other double O RGs. So there you go. But then you're getting some newer ones here, especially up in here where you're going to be needing to put these on the weapons. So that's going to take a little bit of work. But there you go. There is the RG Quanta unboxing. Everybody who's looking forward to that, uh, you kind of know what to expect now. And we have decided, actually, this is kind of last, last minute, so I apologize for that. But I think we're going to live stream this thing. So that's going to start only in a couple hours once I get my stuff set up. 
So look forward to that and come back and watch that if you can't participate in the live stream as it happens. Thank you.